This is a stimulus check update and daily news report. Got some big breaking news. Democrats have figured out a plan to avoid a government shutdown by extending it just by a few weeks, while Republicans pledge to have a government shutdown over federal vaccine mandates. We'll go over the latest stimulus check articles like this. More than 175,000 Americans in line for a surprise $1,000 stimulus check in 2022 and a $7,500 pay raise. See if you qualify. Jill Biden made the announcement that community college is cut from the Build Back Better or whatever is left of it. Also, I have a video clip talking about what Joe Manchin actually wants from the Build Back Better plan to pass, and I'll give you some other important updates as well. Hope you're having a terrific Tuesday. If you appreciate the fact-based, fast-paced updates, hit the like button down below. So this week, Democrats moved to prevent a shutdown. So if you weren't aware, we had we we're supposed to have the government shut down or at least the government funded back in October, October 1st, and they've just been delaying the government from being shut down by stopgap measures. Uh, meanwhile, 49 Republicans pledged to shut down government over federal vaccine mandates. Uh, the current funding for federal government will expire February. 18th. So in just 10 days, the government may or may not shut down depending on what happens. So uh, 49 Republicans wrote a letter to both Senate Minority Leader Chuck Sh or Mitch McConnell and Senate Minority Leader House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy, uh, basically saying that they want the government or they said must we're at a crossroads where it must once again decide whether they will vote to fund a federal government that is enforcing a tyrannical COVID-19 vaccine mandates on the American people. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. Is this a good move, bad move? Should the government shut down over federal vaccine mandates? Should it not? Is this a good fight, bad fight? Let me know your thoughts on that. Uh, meanwhile, Democrats, so Congress eyes stopgap funding bill through March 11th to prevent the shutdown. So looks like, uh, so if the, the deadline is February 18th, teeth right and they're going to come up with another stopgap measure which is a temporary measure to fund the government just for a few weeks until march 11th then what <laughs> uh, so that's what they're working on at the moment not to completely fund the government but just again a stopgap measure uh, when it comes to stimulus more than 175,000 americans in line for a 1000 dollars stimulus check in 2022 and a 7500 dollars pay raise see if you qualify so increased funding in Florida public schools proposed by Governor Ron DeSantis is providing $1,000 stimulus payments to teachers for the second year in a row, as well as an increased teacher salary from $40,000 to $47,500. So let me know down in the comments below with Florida having extra money. Is this a good use of the money? $1,000 stimulus checks to teachers again and a pay raise. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that. So these checks won't go out until the beginning of the school year. Uh, that also, we have this state budget surplus is big enough to give every Californian another $1,100 stimulus check, lawmaker says. So uh, California is revealing its projected $45.7 billion budget surplus, uh, which is insane to think about. That means that after all of their expenses, they have an extra $45 billion left over which is insane. So they're probably going to give out another round of $1,100 stimulus checks to all Californians who live in California. Uh, then we have fact check. Is a fourth round of stimulus checks in the works? Short answer is no. There is no general fourth stimulus check despite petitions, despite a lot of people calling for it, Senior Citizens League, all that. Uh, there is no general fourth stimulus check. Uh, also, this article no fourth stimulus check, but you might qualify to get $1,000 every month. So this is the latest UBI program or guaranteed income program. So this is going on in New York City, and it's going to give uh, mothers 100 mother or gave mothers uh, $1,000 per month, and then it's going to give another round. Where does it say? Yeah, I think it's going. Yeah, it's. Or actually, sorry. That was one of them. And then there are different cohorts participating in the program and whose outcomes are being tracked. In one group of families, half are getting $500 per month for three years. The other half is getting $1,000 per month. In the second group of families, participants are getting $1,000 per month for 18 months, then $500 for 18 months. So a few different programs going on there. Then we have another uh guaranteed income universal basic income program going on so pilot project to study guaranteed basic income in, uh, impacts on immigrant and mixed status families start in march so this is going on in uh, i believe new mexico 
a group of 330 undocumented and mixed status families living in 13 counties in New Mexico will participate in a pilot project starting in March that will study the impact of those families receiving a guaranteed basic income for 12 months. So it's going to be $500 for 12 months for uh, undocumented and mixed status families. Let me know your thoughts on that program. Good idea, bad idea. Let me know your thoughts on all that. Then it looks like the IRS is shifting 1,200 employees from other duties to whittle down a tax return backlog. So still thousands and thousands of tax returns that are in the backlog from 2020. Uh, so they haven't gotten to that. Let me see. I don't think it said a number here. Uh, yeah, so let me know down in the comments below have you not received your tax return from 2020 uh looks like they're going to dedicate 1200 people to that still a lot of people who haven't gotten their tax return from 2020 which is insane to think about then we have jill biden uh saying i was disappointed free community college cut from build back better bill uh so Jill Biden came out making an made an announcement about this, although we kind of knew this was happening. Uh, take a look at this video clip explaining more. Free community college was a major part of President Biden's Build Back Better agenda, but it's now officially scrapped from the spending package. That's according to First Lady Jill Biden. She broke the news at a community college summit today. Congress hasn't passed the Build Back Better legislation yet. And free community college is no longer part of that package. We knew that this wasn't going to be easy. Joe always said that. Still, like you, I was disappointed. The announcement today is the White House tries to salvage that social spending package after Senator Joe Manchin refused to support the bill and tanked it back in December. NBC's Sahel Kapoor now so, hell, it's a big concession. Yes, it is, Shep. And the writing's been on the wall for some time now. My NBC colleagues and I reported back in October that Democrats were planning to strip this out of the Build Back Better Act, Free Community College, that is, to make the numbers work, to bring the price tag under $2 trillion. This is something that uh, Joe Biden had embraced all the way back in 2015 as vice president to President Obama as a way to help uh, people access a higher education, which is increasingly important to make a decent wage today. He campaigned on it in his uh, 2020 presidential bid, and of course he won. This is unlikely to happen now. And the larger Build Back Better Act, that is frozen at this moment as a result of the opposition from Senator Manchin. But there are major pieces of it that Democratic leaders in the White House are looking to salvage. And what could that be? Well, I spoke to Senator Manchin at length and in great detail a week ago about what he's willing to support. And there's a lot from the original bill that he's still open to. You see this on the screen just now. That is ACA funding, that expanded uh, tax credit to help people buy insurance. Medicaid expansion in states that did not accept that extra funding under the uh, ACA statute where there's a coverage gap. Clean energy money, about half a trillion in total that he is not opposed to. Uh, and then a series of tax increases, including a corporate tax rate of up to 25% from the current 21%, a capital gains tax increase to 28%. He wants to end what he calls tax loopholes like carried interest and raise taxes uh, for uh, individual taxes for wealthy Americans. There's a lot there for the White House to work with. But one thing he did tell me, Shep, is that uh, Manchin wants some of this package, some of the taxes and savings here to be used for deficit reduction. And some uh, Senate Democratic sources that I've spoke to have already started talking about putting some of the savings there uh, to deficit reduction as an enticement to win the centrist senator from West Virginia. What are your thoughts on community college being cut? Is this a good idea, bad idea? Do you care about that? Uh, let me know down in the comments below. So Larry Kudlow from Fox says, some congressmen are pushing a junior version of Build Back Better. So this is that Compete Act that passed the other day that's supposedly supposed to compete with China. Uh, but that's their perspective on it, uh, basically pointing out a few different things, how it's $350 billion and how it's a mini Build Back Better, although not really the case. Then also we have another representative talking about the Build Back Better and what's happening with that. Everything that you just said about the Compete Act then, is there even a need to jumpstart or restart talks to get it, to get Build Back Better, uh, whatever whatever is in Build Back Better, if one gets to the president's desk, is it... Should should those negotiations be restarted? Is there a need for one? 
those negotiations are ongoing. And let's just look at one proof point from the January jobs report. 80% of the people who left the workforce were women and particularly women of color. We cannot build back better without, with, by leaving anyone behind, let alone women. And that's why the care agenda is so critically important. Not only is it women who have to leave the workforce when they can't find care for loved ones, when they can't find childcare that is affordable and accessible, it is also women who provide this care, why, which is why it's so crucial that we pay them a wage that allows them to care for our loved ones as they care for their own. So the Build Back Better agenda is just as crucial as the work and deliverables we've already you know, brought mm -hmm. to the American people. We are not gonna return to status quo. It is critical that we make sure that we are continue to lower health care costs, building on what we did in the American Rescue Plan. Mm -hmm. Let's bring down the costs of prescription drugs. Let's continue to offer Medicaid expansion to the millions whose states chose not to offer that health care insurance to them. These are the fights that Democrats are engaged in and negotiating. Um, re real quickly, we have like 15 seconds left. How worried are you about inflation? You know, we are working every single day to bring down costs. We know the pandemic is driving inflation, and that is why we are passing the Competes Act to help with our supply chain and make sure we drive down those costs, that we get our shelves restocked, that people have relief at the gas pump. That is why we are focused on the infrastructure bill that Democrats passed to rebuild our roads and bridges and make sure that our ports and airports never allow us to be in this situation again because mm -hmm. we have better supply chains and are better able to control costs when faced with a global a pandemic and, type event. And that is all the stimulus news that I have for you today to hopefully brighten your day a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Hi guys, this is Bella, this is the tip of the day. I want to tell you the one thing you should do for when you're feeling down and you, and you want to follow your wishes, then do whatever you want. It's a free country here. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> so bye guys. Have a good have a good night or a good day. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate your support. So my wife is working a 24 today, so it's just me and the kids gonna do some fun stuff around the house. Been playing board games lately just because it's been really rainy and stuff. Uh, hopefully you have a great rest of your day. If you wanna check out my latest videos on my other channels, you could click up here. I have Wise Buys, which is a product review channel, then Wise Vibes, which is a motivational channel. So click up here and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.